Hello, this is Steve from Beto's Leatherworks, and this is part two of the leather alterations. This is a pretty cool jacket. Now again, we're going to be replacing the sleeves. It's seen its better days. This is vinyl, unfortunately, it's not leather. So we're gonna replace the sleeves with this leather right here. Very close to what we have. This is so much more pliable, and I think it'll last for many years to come. The pocket edge is here. And the problem is, the problem here is that these patches are embroidered onto the actual material. So it's not a patch we can just remove and put it back on. So we're gonna to have to cut around the edges and salvage them and stitch them on exactly the same spot as he has. And um, once it gets done, I think he'll have many years of life. And we're not gonna do much with the back because obviously the body of the jacket is still in good shape. There's nothing we can, we're gonna do about these. Maybe just clean the body of it and make it look a little bit more presentable. I think once it gets done, he'll have many, many years of wear out of it. All right, let's continue. Now before disassembling, we wanna mark the center of the shoulder here. Then we'll duplicate this mark on the new piece. That way, once the sleeve is stitched on, it's not twisted. Everything is on point. Gonna make sure not to rip the the webbing on the wrist there. And we have to reuse that. Anytime I try to unstitch two pieces, I usually hold it with one hand and with the other hand open the seam up and the stitches are exposed. I just use touch the stitches and it'll come loose. There's three stitches that we're opening right here on that seam. This way you're not really touching the body of the fabric. You're just touching the stitches and it just comes loose like that. Can you hear that? They're crumbling. Man, my belly's hungry. My belly is hungry. <laughs> my belly's empty. This is vinyl. This is, this is junk, man. It's such a shame. It's a cool jacket, too. Voila! Sleeve is up. It's a big sleeve. Now we get to make a pattern and take these off and cut a new piece of leather and attach the new leather.
summertime. <laughs> Sir. pieces you got one two three the two get stitched first and the third gets stitched to the two so now we get to put the last stitch which is actually we need to put the tops okay this is called a top stitch you guys see that this seam here will have a top stitch also I think there's two top stitches on this one once that gets done then we can sew the center of the sleeve seam, which is right underneath the armpit. Where are you? Right underneath the armpit here, all the way down to the wrist. That's that's the finishing seam that when you're making a sleeve, put it back together. Well, not all sleeves, but most sleeves. All right, let's continue. Okay, so see this foot right here? When you're stitching a seam like this, there's an attachment that goes on here that gets in that crease right there. That way you won't mess up the distance of the stitch from the edge. You gotta be even all the way. I don't have that attachment, so I'm just gonna kind of wing it and use my eyes and my hands to see if I can put a nice seam right in the middle there. All right, let's continue. Shabby. There it is. Not too shabby. Alright, we 
getting there. Well, let's continue. All right, show. show. <laughs> so, let me show you guys something. This is the sleeve, right? Okay. That goes like that. Now, the center seam right here. Most of the time, when manufacturers, they'll stitch it together and leave it... And leave it like that. Okay? I think it's it becomes bulky inside maybe not this particular sleeve because it's so large but some of maybe the blazers or some of the tight fitting jackets that that there's so much material right inside here that it becomes bulky so what i'd like to do is i'd like to flatten this down hammer it down just like that and it's not as that's not as bulky on the feeling of the inside of the sleeve but again on this particular one it might be okay because it's such a it's such a big and you know bulky sleeve for it. But either way, I'm gonna I'm gonna glue that down and flatten that down. All right, let's continue. Applied some glue on both sides, and it's a matter of just flattening it out. It's that simple. Now, and this particular customer asked for the sleeves to be two inches shorter. And we did take that under consideration and shorten it for him. And also along the, the waist, the elastic seems to be a little bit wider than he liked. So what we're going to do is we're going to undo one of the sides to take the elastic in about four inches. That makes it a little bit more snug around the waist. And that's that. Just gives it a little cleaner look too from the outside. All right, let's continue. Now that the sleeve is on, we're going to put double top stitch on the shoulder all the way around. Let's continue. So sometimes when it comes to these cuffs, you know, as much as you wash it, it just doesn't come clean. Um, what we can do at times, we can turn this inside out. It's a lot cleaner on the inside than it is on the outside. But we, we've got to unstitch this and put this stitch on the inside where we can fold this over like this and use the inside part of the cuff where it's much cleaner. All right, let's continue. See the difference? Not bad idea, huh? From that to that. But you gotta be careful when you're stitching these two together, you gotta have these lines lined up or else it's not gonna look good. All right, let's continue.
got the phone dangling on my chest and trying to stitch and and watch the video and and move the jack at the same time so maybe wiggly a little bit that's the reason this is the second row second row stitch this is when post machines come in handy because there's a lot of bulk underneath there got to make sure that nothing's catching underneath lining or anything like that while you're stitching it all right let's continue all right so we're almost done we got this cuff to stitch and close the lining inside and she is done 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 so basically the way we do the cuff here remember the stitch we put together that's going to be on the inside stitch here that's going to line the stitch we put here is going to line up with that there okay so make sure that you pinch that together because you got to pull it inside out now the lining the lining the cuff and the leather i'm pinching so as soon as you pull it through everything is lined up okay now simply you stitch this in a circle and pull it back through so I'm gonna I'm gonna bypass the stitch because I already showed you guys enough stitching. When I finish stitching, I'll pull it through and I'll show you guys. All right. Okay, so that's stitched. So let's pull it. thread another stray thread so, yeah, what's going on here a lot of strays around stitch is right lined up and she's done now some of the flight jackets have a top stitch also on the sleeves this one doesn't so we're gonna leave that alone all right let's continue I know some of you guys are going to ask about my watch. It's a very inexpensive watch. It is called Super Speed. Super Speed. It's kind of blue, blue day today. Now, these are, have big dials because sometimes if I don't have my glasses on, I can't see. So the big dials really help. And the shoes. Oh, Lord. These are my Meslin Double Monk straps. I burnished the toes a little bit. This is cool. I like the Double Monk strap, you know, so... It kind of went well with the blue watch. Also, you got a match. <laughs> so that's what I'm wearing today. Where are you guys? That's what I'm wearing today. And um, that's my watch for the day. All right, let's continue. So if you guys have any shoes that need repairing or handbags that need repairs, um, always see if you can find local cobblers to give the business to. You know, we, we're all in the same boat here. We're all in the same industry. And, um, and thank God I have plenty that I can do myself. But if you have something that try local first before you find a mail order company like myself um, or other repairs uh, these days, there's a lot of them who are doing mail orders, but see if you can do local first and um, see if they can help you out. If not, then you can kind of venture out of your area. Um, so in this video, I'm gonna mention one of my friends. Um, his name is Pablo. He is from Canada. And his shop's name is Demar Shoe Repair, D-I-M-A-R. Um, you can check him out on Instagram and Facebook. Um, he is starting a YouTube channel, so you might want to peek over there and give him some love. Um, DemarShoeRepair.com, D-I-M-A-R ShoeRepair.com. Um, and the YouTube, I'm sure if you put that name in, he'll pop up. All right, so let's wish him best of luck and let's give him some love. All right, welcome back. We are done with another project. Wait, sucker's heavy now. I think it turned out pretty good. The pocket edges. I think I'll be pleased. Now, we're not going to get a um, response video out of this one. Customer chose not to be in the video, which is not a problem. Anyway, thank you for joining me. I appreciate it. Um, if you guys have any questions, email me, bedos at yahoo.com. 
and I'm doing the best I can to answer the emails. There's just a little bit, of, well, there's just a lot to get to, and I'm doing it one at a time. So be patient, and I'll get to you guys as soon as I can. All right, thanks for joining me. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. And thumbs up, hit the bell notification, all that good stuff. You know what to do. All right, we'll see you guys again on the next project. Take care.